Okay guys, so what we see here, I've kind of started our initial cat dissection. Um, what I've done here is the first thing you guys are going to want to do is palpate down until you can kind of feel the end of your cat's rib cage. Okay, mine's actually about here. And then what you'll do is you can take your scalpel and start to make some small incisions. Okay, until you start to see tissue that looks like this. This right here is the diaphragm. Um, if you cut in and you get a little too far, and I actually didn't, so I can't quite show it to you yet, but if you get in too far, you're gonna see, oh, here we go. You're gonna see intestine or liver, okay? If you see this, you've gone too far inferior and you're gonna wanna move up a little bit before you make your full cut across. So if you're lucky enough to see your diaphragm, awesome. What you're gonna do is take your scissors and cut all the way across. Now what I did is as I went through, I stuck my finger in and kind of tried to pry the diaphragm off a little bit so that when I fully reflect back, it's not completely torn off. If you tear the diaphragm, it's not a big deal. Okay, uh, we can fix that, all right? So cut all the way across, transverse section, okay? And then the next thing you're gonna do is pick a side, any side, and you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna start to cut off the ribs. Okay, now what may happen is we have a lot of muscular tissue here. And so what you're gonna probably do first is cut away some of this muscular tissue. You can use your scalpel. When you get up to the armpit, you need to be very careful. Okay, as you can see here, we have our major axillary, artery, and vein, and we have the formation of our brachial plexus starting here. Okay, so what I've done to make sure we don't cut through those vessels, because we need them, is you're gonna stick a probe. There's a little hole where they insert. Stick your probe in there. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so you can pull back. You can see where those vessels enter. What this is, is a landmark for you, so that as you cut, 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 up, 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 you won't actually nick those guys, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep cutting and as you do so you're going to keep pulling back there's going to be some vasculature here and membrane you can go ahead and pull that off and we don't need it and once you get up to here stop cutting as you cut up you can probably use your scissors most of the way otherwise you might need to start using your bone cutters anyways once you get all the way up to the clavicle region you're going to pull the chest plate all the way back and use your bone cutters to cut across here, okay? Removing the chest plate completely. You'll have access now to visualize all of these major vessels and you can continue to remove the major clavicles and um, smaller upper ribs. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll come back. All right guys, so once you get up here, you have cut and reflected back the rib cage, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is cut across transversely, okay? Now mine's been completely dissected, so it's gonna look a little different. One of the first things you are probably gonna wanna do, and I'm just gonna kinda lay these guys back over, is on the anterior chest wall of the cat, they have very large uh, pectoralis muscles, so what you may wanna do is simply cut them off, okay? Once again, being mindful of these vessels down here. Once you've done that, you can use your bone cutters to cut to the sternum and then just to give one big clip here and this guy will come completely off. What you'll be left with is about mm, that much of the rib cage left, okay? Once again, there's gonna be some thicker muscle here. You might just need to use your scissors at this point, being mindful of these deeper underlying vessels, okay? The rule of thumb with cat blood vessels is if you nick it, it's okay. There's a second one on the other side. Okay, so if you manage to clip a jugular, it's okay. If you mess up a carotid, it'll, we'll get it on the other side. So clip this guy off, remove it. And then what you'll have is um, the throat muscles here should be nice and closed up. So if you take your scalpel, go down through here, reflect it back, you should start to see some of those vessels. Okay, now this isn't, we're not gonna get into how to clean, but basically with vessels, we just wanna use blunt dissection. So we can start to see our carotids here and things like that. And the major portion of this dissection will be you cleaning vessels. In the chest cavity here, you're gonna see your lungs as well as the major heart. This little bit of tissue here, just rip it off. That is nothing we are concerned with. That was the cat's thymus, okay? Now, as far as opening up the abdomen, it's much simpler. 
you're just going to need to make a midline incision using your scalpel. But the trick is here, you want to pull up on the abdominal cavity to make some space between your scalpel and the internal organs. The last thing you want to have happen is to cut open the intestines because it will smell. So you'll make your midline incision all the way down to about the pubic area. What you may find, especially if you have a female cat, is there will be lots of fat here. Simply pull that fat away or you can cut it off. Now once you get here, you can go ahead and use your scissors and you want to cut laterally to either side of the pelvis and then you'll cut underneath the diaphragm so that you can literally open it up like a book. Now when it comes to blood vessels, all you're going to do is simply pull these guts out of the way and continue your blunt dissection. If kitty is a bit extra juicy like mine is, feel free to go ahead and either use paper towels to soak it up or you can dump it into the sink, okay? So, or into our bucket if I have a bucket. So here we can see some of our major vessels like the vena cava and you can find our ureter here as well. It's gonna be a lot of pulling back. You're gonna wanna reflect to the cat's right side. If you reflect the organs to the right, it will be a lot easier to ID than if you reflect from the left. However, there are gonna be vessels that we want to see and some cats organs are going to be a little bit easier to manipulate in certain directions than others. So if you're having trouble identifying vessels from one side, flip the organs over and check them out on the other side. Okay? And that concludes our blood vessels.